today is November 29th, 2022. And this video is about a creepy man in my sister's basement. Yes, my sister called me six o'clock this morning about somebody was using her washing machine. And my brother went down there and he took the stuff out. And he wasn't nobody in the basement. He came back, he saw a guy in there. And my brother told him, this is my sister's washing machine. And she put it, she paid for this. And you have no right to be using that stuff. Because we thought that she, we thought the guy was connected to the girl upstairs. Cause my sister lived in one of those townhouses where there's an up and down apartment and it's a shared basement. And the girl upstairs named Peggy, and she be bringing all type of people up into our apartment. And we thought this guy may have been connected to him. And my brother got to an argument with the guy, and the guy told my brother, "You want to fight me?" My sister called the police. The police came. They went down to the basement. They didn't see nobody down there. And they left and stuff, and my sister had turned the washing machine on to try to get all that water out with that guy was using her machine. And she heard that her dryer went on and stuff, and the guy was down, and was, was still, he must have had hid in the basement from the police. And I told my sister to call the cops again. She didn't want to call him again because she said they act like they didn't want to do their job. And he was using a dryer. And, and my sister my sister was going to go down there with a baseball bat. And I told her, don't. And she did scream down to the base. She screamed down to the base, told him to get the fuck out of my basement and stuff. And my sister, she jammed the door up like to lock him in there because she was aggravated. He using her machine and she paid for it because she went to, she went to wash her dryer from errands. And... And, and, and she called the property manager stuff, so told her there was somebody in her basement because my brother went down to the basement the day before yesterday to do some laundry and he saw the guy down there like laying down in the bed and he asked my brother, you going to do something to me? And my brother said, no, he's down here uh, doing laundry. And my brother said he was in the parking lot on the back of the apartment that earlier that day screaming out in the parking lot for some reason. And I came over there and stuff. And, and the, the maintenance guy had to come in there and try to unjam the door because this guy had messed it. But this guy was jammed in the basement with my sister had did. And then, and then the lady upstairs found out. She said she didn't know this guy and stuff. And, and and then the maintenance guy had told him he had to go when he unjammed the door. And the guy had left. And I was at my sister's house. And me and my brother went down to the basement to throw the bed mattress out where he was laying on. And the bed mattress was my little niece, baby bed match with my sister put down there we threw it out and then and then when I came out to the apartment I went down to like hit try hit down to the basement I heard someone walking in the basement and I told my sister I think he's back down there again and my brothers had said had, had stood at the basement door and he thought he heard a washing machine my sister we told my sister to call the cops and she did they went down there the cops came again they went down there and they found this guy they actually found him down there and stuff and they was talking to him and stuff he was giving them fake names and stuff it turns out they found out what his real name was he had a warrant out for his arrest in buffalo I mean, he was arrested by the Kenmore police out in the sub because my sister lived in Kenmore out in the suburb, and he had a warrant out for his arrest in Buffalo. I talked to the lady upstairs, and she said she didn't know him. Her name is Peggy. She's a drug addict, and she said somebody had broke into her house. I don't know when, but she showed me her house had been like like kicked in. Her door had been kicked in and fixed and stuff. And she said they had stole her TV and her bedroom door also like been kicked in. I went into her apartment. My little brother was there for a minute. I mean, her name is Peggy. She's a drug addict because we thought the guy down in the basement was connected to her because she was bringing all type of people in into her apartment and she was playing loud music a lot and stuff. And I don't know, do she actually know the guy or not? But the guy got arrested because he had a warrant out for his arrest. If, if, if they hadn't found no warrant out for him, they would have just told him to left and stuff. So and they find out he was living with his cousin on the other side of the apartment building. And then she kicked him out. And then he came to to my sister's apartment. And then and then, then he was hiding in the basement. He came to her unit and he went in the basement. So we go to my sister's apartment. Like, like there's a hallway and there's a basement on the on the, in the front door. And he and he was down there hiding. And so that means it's creepy to have somebody in your basement. And then when my sister and then after he got arrested, we went back down to the basement. He had defecated all in the basement. My sister found shit all in her washing machine. Like he defecated. He he would wash some of his clothes. He would wash it. He had defecated. So they, they had a lot of shit in her washing machine. And he had defecated in her basement. 
I mean, that's just fucking nasty and disgusting. Somebody can come down there, hide in your living your basement, hide in your basement, and they defecate in your basement. And he'll use her machine on her permission. This guy, I think, has some mental problems, too. His name was Willie, because the police found out his name was the Kenmore police. They found out his name was Willie, and they told him he had a warrant out for his arrest in Buffalo. And they and they took on it, and, and they told him, you come back here again, you will be arrested for trespassing and stuff. My sister, but she looking for another apartment anyway, because she wanted to move anyway, because of the because of a lot of the problem what was going on out there in Kenmore anyway. And it was a relief, man. I mean, cause we, and my brother, went down there to throw that bed mattress out. It was my little sister, my, my, my little niece, baby bed mattress, and we threw it out and stuff. And then after we went up to the to our apartment, I just went down to the basement door, and that's when I heard someone walking down there. And I told my sister, and we called the cops, and they found them this time, and they found that he had a warrant. And he went to jail today. I mean, cause I thought the girl upstairs who lived over my sister named Peggy. We thought she was connected to him. She, she claims she don't know this guy. And she said somebody had kicked in her apartment. She told my sister people could sneak into your to into your apartment. She said people could sneak into the to the to the hallway of the apartment by using some kind of crap like some kind of slide card and stuff, like unpack the lock and stuff, and they could sneak in and stuff. My sister talked to them and she trying to get the maintenance people to come back out to put a padlock on her basement door. She already called errands and they gonna come out and get the washing machine on Friday and the dryer on Friday and take it. She's going to have her washing machine and dryer uh, payment suspended. And she said she's going to try to get a new washer and dryer because he fucked up her machine by, by washing his clothes and left a lot of shit in her washing machine. A lot of doodle stain. Which, and he'll deprecate in the basement and shit. That's just straight up nasty. But I might do an update to this video as well.